Hey, Kevin Z here. I want to show you how the My Wi-Fi platform works and how to manage your campaigns and set up your hotspots. So first, you log into the My Wi-Fi interface at mywifi.io. The first screen you're going to see is your dashboard. This is where all the action happens, where you can see exactly what's happening on your network in real time. Starting at the top, we have our Facebook connections, the number of new users and the number of returning users. We also well have Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Instagram, and regular email. Here's a map of all the locations that have been set up in your platform. As you see, we have many already, uh, but you'd only have the locations that you've set up yourself. In this box over here, you're going to see your recently connected users. These are users who have recently logged on to a Wi-Fi hotspot. If you click on one of the users, you'll see their profile image if available, their full name, which social network they connected with, along with additional information, including their real email address, their device Mac, the location and the campaign that they connected with. If they use Facebook, they will also be gender and additional information coming soon. Over here, there's a breakdown of the Wi-Fi users of male and female, as well an overview of the locations and the number of times users have connected with each connection method. Moving on to the left hand side, we have locations. Here is where you have all the locations that you could manage. You can set up unlimited locations within the My Wi-Fi interface. Here we have four locations added already, but I'm going to add a new location for the demo. So let's first find a location. Let's say I wanted to set up Wi-Fi at the White House. So I would search for my location by simply typing in the name. Here I see the White House on Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, DC. It will automatically map my location as well as automatically fill out all the location information. Feel free to go in and double check this and also ensure that you filled everything out correctly, including the time zone, because you could manage campaigns and locations regardless of where you are in the world based on the time zone of the actual location. When you're done, click on save. So I've now added the White House as the location. Before I jump into it, I want to quickly add a device and a campaign to show you how it all comes together. So after you add a location, you want to add a device. You'll get your first My Wife hotspot included, uh, but as you order more devices, all you do is simply click on add new device. You add your device name, exactly what router it is, the MAC address and the location that you want to assign it to. In this case, I've already added a device for the White House waiting room. And now on to campaigns. Every location has a campaign that manages the login page and the social networks used to connect with the location to use the Wi-Fi. To add a new campaign, simply click on Add New Campaign. We'll call this campaign name White House Demo. And the SSID is the actual name of the Wi-Fi hotspot that people see on their phones or computers before they connect. Here we'll call it White House Free Wi-Fi. Then you can choose the Facebook logins that you want to use. In this case, we'll just use uh, the ones that we have already set up. And you can choose exactly uh, which social network you want to have your users connect with, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Google, LinkedIn, Instagram, or simply regular email where you can ask some additional questions such as name, email, country, city, phone number, gender, and year born. Moving on, you can choose your default language. For example, if you know that people of the White House are coming to visit from uh, Korea, you can change the language here, but we'll keep it in English for default. Uh, you can always allow the user to select their own language from a dropdown by enabling the option here. You can choose your text color, your background, your background image. For a simple header, you can upload your own images as well and design it as you please. You can also add whatever text and content you want in the footer and even drop retargeting pixels on the header and the footer. You can also add your own custom terms and conditions that the users agree to prior to using your Wi-Fi. Moving on in step three, you can put a successful login URL. For example, you can point people to the White House homepage or even create your own custom thank you page with the graphics you've already uploaded, putting your own custom message. This is great for promotions or anything that you want to create uh, as a landing page after people connect. You can also choose the amount of seconds that people see this page for and also drop your converging tracking pixels so you can track exactly who's connected and who's seen this page. In addition, you can have anybody that connects to the Wi-Fi added to the autoresponder of choice. We currently support GetResponse, iContact, MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, and SendReach with hundreds more coming very soon. And finally, after users connect, you can automatically email them. For example, the president can say, thank you for visiting the White House. You can enter all the information here. In addition, you can have the users share this on Facebook. You can choose exactly the name, link, caption, and description of what users will be sharing. And finally, you can have users like the location on Facebook right after they connect. When you're done creating the campaign, click on save. 
and your campaign is here and ready to use. Now you want to jump back to your location, edit the location you just created, which is the White House. You have your devices that you've added that are already assigned to the waiting room. And here's when you choose your default campaign. Click on set as default. And now anyone that connects to this hotspot will see this landing page and these connection options. Further, if you want to limit the usability of this, you can say, I want to limit the amount of bandwidth per user and the session time over here. So you can kick people out, for example, after using your Wi-Fi for one hour. If any staff or business owners want to access certain amounts of the platform or this location data, you can simply add them as a sub user with different permissions. For example, only give them access to view the analytics on the White House. Now, as you can see, we have our campaign that's assigned to the White House with this device assigned to that. In analytics is where you can see very valuable information of everything that happens on your networks, your devices and locations. For example, I can look at the last month and see all the users that have connected with the platform, the top returning users. I see the breakdown of new versus returning users, the number of connections and who connected with what method. Here it shows the uh, day by day. And obviously you can choose your dates to uh, show reports of your choice, male versus female, and much more. Uh, you can also export a social users list that shows all the information. Uh, and you can export this in CSV, Excel, PDF, or print format. And you can also filter these lists in real time. Moving down to connect social accounts, you can add your own social accounts simply here. Follow our support section to understand how to do this, but it's really simple and takes less than a few minutes. Here's where you can see all your sub users assigned to different locations. Your branding is where you can update your logo, personalize your URL, change your site title, edit your colors, your privacy policy, terms and conditions, and footer. In integration is where you add your email autoresponders. Again, make sure you check out our support section by clicking up here, support, to understand exactly how to add these. Our members area can also be found directly within the platform. Here's where you'll find all of our updated training sessions and tutorials of how to use and get the most out of the Wi-Fi platform. Make sure you click all these tutorials and watch each one of them as you get started because a lot of them have very valuable information on how to set up the platform properly. And here's where you will find all of your marketing downloads. And thank you so much for watching this very quick demo. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is Kevin Z and I will see you in the Facebook group and support section.